Pecos League All-Stars shine in Hollywood's win over High Desert. The Hollywood Stars have three Pecos League All-Stars and all played pivotal roles in their team's 5-1 victory over the Yardbirds. Steven Cazares personifies pitching to contact and winning his third without a loss. The 6'5", 26-year-old out of Chafee College by way of Altaloma High School held the hard-hitting Yardbirds to one run through eight innings despite striking out but two. Cazares pitched last year for the Pecos League Roswell Invaders. Of the eight base hits given up by Steven Cazares, two were of the extra base variety, both doubles. Utah Okazaki's stand-up double into the right field corner, coming with two out in the fourth. High Desert's lone run was the handiwork of Pecos League All-Star and leading Yardbirds hitter Shane Brown, whose third inning hit tied the score at a run apiece in what is developing as a pitcher's duel. Both teams play solid defense, neither side committing an error. Right fielder Caleb Davidson, 9, is a Pecos League All-Star. His running catch off Blaine Swift's bat ends the ball game. Fellow outfielder Ian Horn, 8, the other Hollywood position player, selected to the Pecos League All-Stars team, the switch hitting Ian Horn is hitting 390 and is Hollywood's leading man in base hits and doubles. Ian Horn, the second Hollywood base runner scoring on this Jordan Stark hit that puts the Stars ahead 3-1 to one in the seventh. High Desert's Josiah Ward had held Hollywood to one run through six, turning in another quality start for the Yardbirds 6-7 starter the Stars are coming off a 26-13 thumping of the Whiptails in California City. Josiah Ward's ninth start of the season was certainly worthy of winning his fourth game of the year. The 26-year-old out of Memphis ringing up Stars leadoff hitter Jordan Stark on umpire Keith Sabo's called third strike to start the game. It is well over 100 degrees at game time. How hot is well over 100? Well, it was 111 earlier in the day in Adelanto, and the scoreboard shows 102 degrees when the first pitch is thrown. The leadoff hitter's role is ordinarily to take as many pitches as possible in his first at-bat, giving teammates a look at as many of the opposing starter's pitches as possible. That makes it key that a successful leadoff hitter is also a good two-strike hitter. Dominic Zayer works the count before stroking the two-strike single through the hole into left in his first at-bat. Dominic Zayer is hitting 346. In his second time up, Dominic Zayer nearly grand slams the Stars, the towering blast down the left field line just foul. I use this clip to reiterate what I've told many Yardbirds fans. Umpiring in the Pecos League is far superior, in my opinion, to California League umpiring we saw for 35 years of Mavericks baseball. This crew, Keith Sable behind the plate, Jerry Serrano on the bases, the best of the Pecos League duos. Shane Brown's stand-up double is High Desert's second. Hit in the first, Dominic Zayer had been double up on a Blaine Swift laser shot to center. Shane Brown is stranded. It is scoreless after one. Josiah Ward, fans catcher Brandon Warden in the second. <coughs> Hollywood opens the scoring on all-star Caleb Davidson's base hit the other way, driving in Jordan Stark in the third. Caleb Davidson, Hollywood's leading hitter with a 399 average and team high 42 runs driven in. Josiah Ward works out of further trouble in the third with the called third strike on Ian Horn. And catcher Utah Okazaki throws out Caleb Davidson trying to steal for the inning ending double play. Blaine Swift leads off High Desert's third, beating out the swinging bunt fielded by Steven Cazares. Blaine Swift among the swiftest of the Yardbirds. He will steal second in the next sequence. Yardbirds RBI leader, Shane Brown at the plate. 
Blaine Swift's stolen base, his 11th. Blaine Swift in a race with Shane Sharkey and Dylan Kester to top the team in steals. Shane Sharkey has 13, Dylan Kester 11. Shane Brown pulls it down the left field line. Blaine Swift scampering home from second, and the game is tied at one. RBI 40 on the year for Yardbirds All-Star Shane Brown. The 29-year-old sports a 429 batting average after collecting two hits this game. Josiah Ward is downright dominant in the middle innings. He strikes out the side in the fourth. Shortstop Francisco Moreno, victim of the slider on the black, for out number one. Time was seasons past when a high desert pitcher strikes out the side. The hat would be passed to reward the hurler's outstanding achievement. Hopefully that practice is reintroduced soon this season. Catcher Brandon Warden unable to catch up with the slider for out number two. Josiah Ward strikes out six in his seven and two-thirds innings work this night. Josiah Ward rings up Grant Arnold, the Stars third baseman who goes down looking to end the top of the fourth. Ball game remains tied at one. Again, these Hollywood hitters pounded out 26 runs in their previous outing. Josiah Ward is actually deprived of a strikeout when Jordan Stark swings at the slider in the dirt in an 0-2 count. Utah Okazaki swoops out from behind the plate and throws out the Speedy Stars leadoff hitter in what the scorebook rules a swinging bunt put out 2-3. Regardless, excellent defensive effort by the just-turned 26-year-old Yardbirds catcher Utah Okazaki. Josiah Ward knocks down the comebacker and throws out Stars two-hole hitter Chris Scalisi on another very close play at first. We go to the bottom of five. Still a 1-1 time. Dylan Kester's two-out single sends Dominic Zaire to second in the Yardbirds' half of the fifth. Dylan Kester is a Yardbirds All-Star, hitting 326 on the year. Zaire and Kester are stranded. Hollywood breaks through for two in the seventh. Yardbirds reliever A.J. Epstein comes on, holding damage to a minimum by striking out Caleb Davidson to end the inning. The Stars add two more in the eighth, the final, Hollywood 5, High Desert 1. Saturday night, July 8th, is Military Appreciation Night. All active military personnel and retired military admitted free when High Desert again takes on the Hollywood Stars. The Community Table Restaurant Online Sports Report. Action highlights brought to you by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting Victor Valley teams and athletic programs. 